Alright, I think we need to listen to some tips. Some important story bits, so. Let's go. A sniper known as Quiet is lurking in the Afghan wilderness. This Quiet has performed a string of hits on Soviet officers. The attacks always occur in the same area. But sweeps of the area turn up no traces whatsoever. They've even posted guards, but they never spot a thing. And then before you know it, another body's lying on the ground. You ever heard of someone who operates like that? No matter how still and silent a person tries to be, they always create some kind of ripple. Be it breathing, a heartbeat, eating, excreting, body temperature, sweat. If this sniper can really vanish completely, that's just not human. I guess quiet is the right name. But what is Quiet's objective? The local guerrillas wouldn't use this kind of tactic. I just can't see them hiring some superhuman mercenary. And the Soviet officers who've been killed, well, they were all opposed to or skeptical of the secret weapons development being conducted in the area. Sure, they were a problem for those supporting it, but the Soviets have nothing to gain by killing them. So we have an assassin with superhuman combat skills who isn't working for the guerrillas or the Soviets. Miller has a theory. That this sniper is a hitman for Cypher. He thinks it's time we silence quiet for good. But I'm against the lethal treatment. I say we bring the sniper back alive and break that silence. Because even if this quiet doesn't say a word, there's still plenty we can learn. Just remember this, boss. If our hunch is right, you'll be on this sniper's hit list, too. If things seem a little too... quiet when you're in the field, watch out. Quiet's out there somewhere. And if possible, this is one sniper I want back here breathing. Okay. Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. What do you remember from the hospital? Anything we can use? Well, he took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. Um, I think I've listened most of them, I'm not sure. Why is it yellow? Ocelot said the number of private forces is increasing, and they model themselves after us. They're a far cry from the likes of us. But why? Nine years ago we made enemies of the world, as a nuclear-equipped force, independent of ideology or state. Yes. Sooner or later the real UN would have stepped in. So why are they giving these PFs free reign? That's our fault too. What do you mean? What happened nine years ago was a real problem for a lot of people. An organization as big as ours, with our facilities, was wiped off the map. Not an easy thing to hide. But if our existence came to light, so would the names of our clients. We had contracts all over, east and west, from superpowers to banana republics, the lot. Our clients denied all association with the likes of us. They had to make sure things didn't blow up on them. But at the same time, they missed us. They really missed us. The demand for armies for hire was as strong as ever. The international community turned a blind eye to what happened to us, despite still needing people who could do our jobs. History couldn't afford to lose us. As soon as we were gone, they needed a replacement. So private forces spread everywhere. And they're all just a phone call away. But still... I know. PFs are totally different from what we envisioned. Nation states, revolutionaries, terrorists, they have a lot of clients, and Cypher is one of them. Cypher stays anonymous, but I know their work when I see it. In the eyes of those clients, the world's PFs are all just expendable pawns. The clients don't have to worry about losing their own men. Nobody knows they're involved, and PFs are cheap. In short, the world is chewing up soldiers and spitting them out. Even some of the old Mother Base's survivors are still working for PFs. Some guys created their own smaller forces. Others were taken on by emerging PFs. Everybody's gone their separate ways. 
But none of them are living their dream, because they're not fighting with you. Of course, I tried to headhunt as many of them as I could for Diamond Docks. It was all a waste of time. They said they weren't interested without you to lead them. But now you're back. And everything's gonna change. We'll unite all private forces under you. Transcending nations and economies. What is a nation? Just a patch of dirt. The bonds among us will surpass nations. And that's what'll put the world under our control. We'll establish a new kind of country. Redefine the very concept of it. Even Cypher will be below us. An extraterritorial federation of military nations. The United States of Force. Yeah, I've listened Once to it already. The big boss's return starts traveling. That'll be our true deterrent against Cypher. Okay, I think I've listened to all of them. I'm not sure why they're in yellow. Oh, salt. So Salt 2 still hasn't gone into effect. That treaty was drawn up to limit not just the size of the US and Soviet Union's nuclear arsenals, but also their delivery systems. The whole deal. That's when we thought all those years of negotiations had paid off, somebody decides to invade Afghanistan. The timing couldn't have been worse. The president was in the middle of the Salt 2 talks back then. You mean while you were busy trying to stop Peace Walker? I heard. President Ford was meeting with the General Secretary of Vladivostok. In his absence, the political brass in America detected what they didn't realize was false nuclear launch data from Peace Walker. They were on the verge of ordering a retaliatory nuclear strike. Coleman's big idea? Humans are incapable of destroying themselves. Turns out he never knew what humans are capable of. If that AI, I mean, the boss, hadn't found a way to stop the fake data transmission, they probably would have gone ahead with the launch. Deterrence was revealed as the pipe dream it was. All thanks to you, and her. The U.S.-Soviet talks looked set to fall through. What happened in Nicaragua no doubt helped trigger a change of heart. But in the end, the times define the politics. When you grab their tail, they turn and bite your hand. I first met you 20 years ago now. The place was Selenyuyarsk in the Soviet Union. We were enemies. I was with the GRU. You were still fighting for America. 1964. Operation Snake Eater. Its objective? The assassination of the legendary soldier known as the Boss. Alright, I think I've listened to all of them. It's really confusing because of the yellow color. Anyways. Why is it still showing the tape? Expansion. Plant okay. expansion complete. Okay. Ooh. Mm, except all. How many of these can I? <laughs> it's hard to understand. Okay, no, yes. So Alright. Uh, let's see the sign ups. Please select a landing zone. 
Heading to Afghanistan. Deploying. Some of this stuff is pretty confusing. But I'll manage. Since I'm not focusing on one game alone. So I jump back and forth from different games. It's the best way to keep interest, in, interest going, I guess. Without getting bored and burned out. Just playing one game. Jump, I forget. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay, so they're all upgrades. Well, small upgrades, but still. Analysis complete. Are you on this one? Okay. Except this guy. It's not an upgrade. Can you see me here? Oh, 
not good. momentarily mm, please select and supplies requested unless there's something else here supply drop complete Arrived at Mother Base. Yeah. I'm really not sure how many of these plants do I need. That's something I keep checking. High ground is important in this game. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on, buddy.
Analysis complete. guys. Come on, so many kills in here. What the hell? Okay, that's us No. Where are your friends? The map has been updated. 
Analysis complete. Extraction arrived at my place. Analysis complete. Development project has been added. He's coming too. Roger that. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. You gotta extract him. to upgrade the Fulton. I don't like this random bullshit. Extraction arrived at mother base. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Oh, I got this new suit. Let's see if it's working. Yeah, it's working. Didn't detect me. Spit it out. Where are the others? The map has been updated. Mm, too bad this guy's not on a Guard post captured. Oh wait, he is on grid. Shit, I'm stuck. Oh, this is a bug. Please select a mission. Really? Mandatory? That was a very good spot. Chuck came in or something. Weird. Um, I think I need um. A drop point supplies requested. Extraction 
arrived at Mother Base. Supply drop complete. For me, what's that? Whoa. Horses do. Empty. Oh, there's some more. Analysis complete. <laughs> Analysis complete.
Um, we're gonna have to secure the perimeter first. I'm just gonna initiate the mission. Or some kind of intro or something. Very few guards here anyway, so might as well get them all. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. All right, that's it.
shit. Arrived at Mother Base. Please select a landing zone. Holy shit, I'm not gonna uh, film the whole thing. Support helicopter Roger. requested. I'm just gonna stop here. 